Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. Mm -hmm. It is Tuesday, July 11th? Yes. I think so. July 11th, Prime Day. Uh, yeah, Are Michelle's ready wearing work? Amazon Prime. So Michelle has to go to work. I'm working now, but I took a little bit of a break. Um, it is time for No Tag Tuesday. And today's questions come to us from Sandy at Life with Sandy. Hey. And it is Get to Know My Past. So I guess we have to go with the memory banks for this one. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, everybody who's doing the tag, we will link them down below. Get to know my past. Number one, did anyone, related or not, ever live with you when you were a child? I'll go first because mine's easy. And no. 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 No, I didn't have anybody. No. Hmm. Not as a child, but as an adult, your mom lived with us for a little bit. For about three months. For the while they month, were building, summer. while they were getting their house built. Correct. Yeah. Um, for me, yes, back in the, I'd say, early 80s, my great-grandmother, Emma Lemley, mm -hmm. um, lived with us. And she was awesome because I'd come home from school. She was in her 80s, so she lived through stuff. The Great Depression, the wars, everything. So um, my father converted the dining room into a bedroom. And uh, it was nice. But I miss Grandma Lemley. Uh, that's the one grave site I, I visit I say the most in my adult life is uh, Grandma Lemley. But that was my that was my great-grandmother. I don't know if right. I said grandmother. My great-grandmother, so. On well, my father's side, my father's mother's mother. <laughs> <laughs> um, number two, do family members live close to you? Um, mm, hello. Hello. <laughs> they live right back that way, yeah. uh, about a hundred yards, <laughs> and, and my aunt way. lives <laughs> right next door. So yes, um, all this land in this area used to be my grandfather's, and um, he gave each of his kids uh, a plot of land, and they all built on it, except for my uncle Mike. Um, but that one's sold and we have neighbors that live there now. But yeah, so I do have family that lives close by and your dad doesn't live, to, yeah. he's five miles away. I'd say like the next town over. Yeah. You know. So, and yeah, it lasts about five minutes away. So it I takes think. nothing to visit any of our family. Yeah. <laughs> um, number three, do you have any, do, did your family have any special traditions? I don't think so. Um, you know, it was, my mom was Italian, so of course she did like the seven fishes thing and, um, you know, just regular normal holidays. I don't think there was anything special. No. No. My family, yeah. the only special traditions was we always went out on Christmas Eve for dinner. Mm -hmm. And then we'd go to my grandmom's for cookies afterwards. And that was, I found out years later, that was when... My father would take all of the presents mm -hmm. out of, while we were over at Grandma's having cookies, <laughs> he'd sneak out, go put everything into the laundry room, like mm -hmm. all the presents. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> and Sheila and I never figured out that, you know, Christmas Eve was the one day of the year we actually went through the front door. We didn't go through the side door because that was the laundry room. That's where all the presents were hidden. So <laughs> they were pretty smart. Yes. But that's the only special tradition really was um, Christmas mm -hmm. Eve dinner. And you got... Oh, okay, yeah. What? And I what? Oh, no, nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Michelle's trying to trip me up. I was a little bit. <laughs> what was a family favorite meal growing up? My side, we didn't really have a favorite meal, I wouldn't say. I mean, me personally, I like my mom used to make um, um, pork chops in baked beans. Okay. It was one of my personal favorites, but I wouldn't say it was a quote-unquote family, family favorite. Right. You know? Well, definitely Sunday sauce for my family. And it... it it was the whole family, like, you know, aunts, uncles, cousins would come over Sunday. For my, well, first it was my grandmother's over at, on the farm, and then my mom took over Sunday sauce. So, me, however, I never took it up. <laughs> but you do make it occasionally, I do but we don't do it, yeah. it as an event having yeah, family. family. It's, I yeah. think the tradition kind of stopped when my mom had passed away, but, um, yeah, I still make it, and uh, everybody loves it. So. Yeah. And Stephanie's really good at making it, too. She is. It's, it's getting handed down, but, you know, nothing's ever like how the no. generation previous Can't did. make it like mom. <laughs> no. 
Um, number five, did you have any special traditions associated with your favorite meals? Well, because we didn't really have favorite meals, I don't have tradition. I mean, you could say tradition was your whole family getting together for right. the Sunday sauce, yeah. but there was no tradition. No, no, no prayer or, you know, no games or anything like that. Yeah. Although, I probably Joni's family, they probably do games. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Cards, I think, you know, Thanksgiving. That's because they're we fun and we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we play games a lot now. We do. Um, where did you meet your spouse or partner? Um, Michelle and I met working at the Holiday Inn. Yeah. Uh, we both worked there twice, and it was on our second go around that we <laughs> met. First time um, I worked there, I was working um, as a lifeguard, mm -hmm. and you were working like jack of all trades. You did like yeah. worked in the pantry. Right. I mean, we I I opened the hotel. I, I mean, they were still construction going on. When they were training us but i was hired as a bus girl right but i waitress banquet waitress cocktail waitress did not do housekeeping i, no. I did although i did clean rooms before the hotel opened i yeah. helped set them up but um and then um i did do a year uh, working in, actually in the kitchen okay. as pantry you know where they do the salad bar and some of the desserts and stuff so yeah, well, you didn't do that. housekeeping, but I used to hang out with the housekeeper, yeah. Miss Shirley Wood. Yep. Oh, she was the best. You I know? saw her the other day. Oh, well, you Over should have said hi. Over. And she knew, like, our parents, because she yeah. went to school with, like, our parents. But yep. she, she was great, oh, you know. awesome. Lady. But, yeah, we, we met at the hotel second go-around when, <clears throat> pardon me, I was working at the front desk um, as a busboy, or not a busboy, a uh, bellhop. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw Michelle walk across, and I said, ooh. Who's that? I gotta meet her. <laughs> and then we went across the street to uh, Village Center in yep. BCI. Yep. And uh, I, I didn't think Michelle was going to go out with me, but um, I because I, I finally after hours I said, so I guess you don't date anybody that you work with. And she's like, well, not yeah. usually. She's like, but I would if you asked me out. And so <laughs> that was pretty much the green light. The rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> That's so the in, in another month, we'll be married 29 years yeah. after that. Wow. So. What was your first house or apartment like when you moved out of your childhood home? So, we lived uh, Lumberton Apartments. Little, oh, you... Well, I lived, when I was in college, yeah. I moved out for a couple of years, and I lived in an apartment in Glassburn, New Jersey. And, um, While attending college. Yeah, while attending college. And, uh, no, I mean, that was good. But I, I guess I look at it as, you know, the real first place was you and I, Lumberton Apartments. Okay. It was a nice little place, yeah. Stuyvesant Drive. Yes, 1017. You know, 1017 right? Stuyvesant Drive. With a mean old guy that lived upstairs. We were never loud, but he yeah. always complained that we were <laughs> playing music too loud. Yeah. I don't, we only lived there a year, and I, I know we didn't have very much company, and we didn't play my stuff because it got ruined. No, <laughs> I know, you know, so... Um, yeah, it got ruined because the hot water heater burst. That's right. Yep. <laughs> so, but we had a cat, two hamsters, mm -hmm. a bird. Yep. We had a lot of pets in there. We so. did. And that was where we made our famed charcoal, uh, oh. our, our uh, fluid burgers. <laughs> I had a little hibachi okay. that we put out on, like, the, uh, we lived on the first floor, so we had just, like, a little patio, patio out back. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have a real grill, but I had a hibachi. And I remember my sister came over one time, and I was trying to make burgers, and I wanted the coals to burn quickly so i put a whole bunch of lighter fluid <laughs> uh the burgers tasted just like lighter fluid yeah it was pretty good they were disgusting i want to say we ordered dominoes i don't remember <laughs> i think we ordered dominoes after that number seven what was your first oh no no that was number seven number eight uh did your family i think it's a mosquito it a mosquito <laughs> my goodness be. did your family take trips to go on vacation to a certain destination um, it wasn't really, we went all over, but a lot of times we had the travel trailer. We go down to the Jersey Shore. We stayed two in, in places in particular, Lake Lori and Beachcomber. They were the two campgrounds. And then Bayberry Cove, mm -hmm. that was after the trailer. Went to Disney a couple times as a kid. You did. That, my first you. time, 1977, <laughs> I was seven years old. Oh, I wanted this toy gun like nobody's business. My dad and mom were like, no, 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 because then you have to carry it around all day. I'm like, no, but I want it. <laughs> oh, I want it. They're like, but it's going to be heavy. I'm like, no, 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 but I'll carry it. I'll carry it. And so I got it, and I had to carry mm -hmm. that darn thing all around. You and, did. Yeah, I'll put a picture of that right here. <laughs> and, yeah, so 
I had to carry that thing around and it was heavy and hot. Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, I regretted it. So <laughs> I bet. So what about your family? Uh, it, Jersey Shore, you know. So when I was little, smaller, younger, whatever child. Um, You're still it, little. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it was Ocean City, New Jersey, because that's a little more family friendly. Yeah, you know, a little yeah. smaller boardwalk, closer beaches. But then as a teenager, every summer was Wildwood. Oh. We would go to Wildwood, New Jersey, and oh, those wild have a good time. But yeah, wild, wild, wild. and that was really the only vacation destination. We did day trips, like to Wheaton Village. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I wouldn't say that was a specific destination. No. Yeah, Question so says, Jersey Shore. did you go to a certain destination? Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are you still friends with any of your childhood friends? Yes, I live in the same town that you know I grew up in, so a lot of people from this town stay in this town, so I see people all the time, you know. Um, I still communicate with um, uh, my friend Mark, who mm -hmm. I was, uh, we were in each other's weddings, mm -hmm. and you know, but I mean, you know, families kind of take you away from the active, you know, doing right. things, but you know, we still, I still get together with people. Mm -hmm. Me? No. <laughs> no. No. I, I was leaving school in high school. Childhood behind is was fine with me. <laughs> but, you know, Facebook has made it easy to catch up with all your childhood For sure. friends. You know? Yeah. And you, you see what they're up to and what they're doing. And, uh, yeah, at, at this present moment, I mean, I, I we're at a point in our lives where a lot of our parents are kind of passing away. So a lot of times I reconnect. Like my, my friend Loretta, she yeah. was always, she was my mom, her mom was my mom's best friend. And we've recently communicated. We still have to do a lunch date. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there. We still have to get You'll together get for that. But, um, you know, so yeah, that's I my gotcha. <laughs> Last question. Do any events stand out to you that you experienced as a child? I mean, I had a great childhood, so there were, there's a lot yeah. of memories, you know, growing, I mean, I just mentioned the travel trailer. I meant I loved going camping. You know, I wish I had a trailer now. You know, so we've mentioned that multiple times. You know, I always like camping. I like the Boy Scouts. When I was in the Boy Scouts, I was an oh, Eagle Scout. You know, okay. and I did a lot of interesting things. I went to uh, Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico. I thought that was a great time. Yeah. You know, I can't really pick any specific because there were so many great oh, memories. Sure, I mean, for. Uh, for us, we had um, St. Michael's. It was always that little carnival at the at the firehouse. Um, the fireworks after. Uh, just, it's the same thing. I did brownies, and yeah. you know. It, what about the time to, you ran away from home? Well, that was an event. Now, wasn't it? That's an event. <laughs> Oh, we got in a lot of trouble for that one. Michelle ran away from home. About two blocks away. Went, went two blocks away because she wasn't allowed to cross the street. And she <laughs> followed the rules. Right. So, yeah, yeah. That's a memory you would always... Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, there's so many. My gosh. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but, I mean, in general, we, what, we came from normal, average yeah. South Jersey families. We had great South Jersey childhoods. Yep. So there's a lot of, me lot of memories. Yeah. But, and, 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 most, and good, too. I, I good really memories. can't really recall no, any really bad or hard times. No, at all. So, I hope our kids can say the same. I hope they can, too. <laughs> so, my goodness. But that's going to do it. That's all 10 questions. Thank you again to Sandy from uh, Life with Sandy for putting those questions together. Again, everybody will be linked down below. We appreciate you taking a little bit of time to learn a little bit about Michelle and myself. So, thank you very much. Have a great day. Yeah, like, thumbs up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>